If you would have told nine-year-old me in 1989 that someday there would be a slew of live-action Transformer films, I would have said, radical, dude. Here it is, 2023, and in theaters now is the seventh live-action Transformers film, including the one standalone Bumblebee movie. Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Let's take a look at it, see if it's any good. Prime. This is about the fate of all living things. Unicron is coming. In a world where magic giant friendly aliens are hiding amongst us in 1994 New York, one young man, Noah, inadvertently becomes part of the crew and is tasked with helping them stop the not-so-friendly giant metal aliens who are set on destroying everything. I'm nobody. I ain't even seen nothing. I'm not even seeing anything right now. I took the six-year-old to see this film with no expectations and was quickly pleasantly surprised at the film's enjoyment level. From the beginning, I was drawn to Noah's character and his story and was happy to go along for the ride. I laughed a good bit, got amped up when Optimus and company were kicking butt, there were jump scares and moments of grief. The filmmakers kind of kept things simple and focused, it seems, in this one, brushing aside Michael Bay's fondness for dramatics and showcasing the fight scenes in a more satisfying manner than in previous films. And though it may have just been a marketing gimmick, I actually really liked the mid-90s nostalgia. The killer soundtrack featured New York-based hip-hop acts from the 90s and had both me and the kid nodding our heads to the beat. You've never faced anything like this. Let them come. So the six-year-old and I really enjoyed this film. At one point, he was actually clapping along as Optimus Prime was doing his thing. The previous Transformer films, at least the ones that I've seen, I think they're largely forgettable for the most part. And though this one isn't necessarily spectacular or anything, it might be my favorite. In fact, I might even look forward to the next one. I thought Transformers Rise of the Beasts was surprisingly pretty good. Chris Jenkins, CBS 6.